Hi, and welcome back to the Washington County Public Schools video repository. Today we're going to take a look at Facebook, which is one of my favorite social media sites. So let me get logged in. The website is simply facebook.com. So I'm logging in and it takes me to what is called my wall. My wall is really not things that I have posted, although they may appear on the wall, but these are things that my friends have posted. Okay, so again, as I scroll down, I may see things that um, are slightly inappropriate and you know, sometimes you get that with some of your friends. Sometimes they'll put things out there that you wouldn't put out, but remember, they're not showing up on your timeline. These are showing up on your wall. Again, your wall are, is an area that posts your friends' um, statuses that they have put out there. Okay, so we're at the wall, and let's talk a little bit about what Facebook actually is. Facebook is the largest social networking website in the world. It actually has over 1.2 billion active users each month, and it is available in 37 different languages, which I find mind-blowing. So Facebook allows registered users, which are people like you and I who have an account. I think we know we do, there it is, there's me, there's me. It allows us to create a profile, to upload videos and photos. We can send private messages and group messages and basically just stay in touch with our friends and families and colleagues that are all over the world. So nothing like having 1.2 billion friends. Actually, that's a little bit of a stretch because these 1.2 billion people who use Facebook are not your friends. You either have to invite them to be your friend or they can invite you to be their friend. Okay, so again, this is the wall, and I think you could probably argue and say that the wall is the most popular element in Facebook. It's essentially a virtual bulletin board, so things can be posted. Okay, and you can see every now and then it'll pop up in um, something new. So your wall is basically real time status updates by your friends and groups. Okay, it's always nice to see former students on here and you know what the world of Carrie Underworld, Underwood is up to. Okay, so again, when your friends post status updates, they show up on your wall. Now, if you want to see what you have posted, that is gonna show up on your timeline. And you can either get there by clicking your name at the top or on the left hand side, you can click your full name that you registered with, and it does indeed take you to your page. So these are some things that I have actually posted or shared with my friends. <laughs> um, also, if somebody tags you in a photo, so like this is my son, if I tagged him, then it would also show up on his wall, okay? All right, so here we are. We are at your timeline. Again, the wall is what other people are sharing in your updates. It's what's going on in live time. But your timeline is what you post and what you're tagged in. Okay, so let's say I wanted to make a status report. Now, I did hear that there are some um, new speed cameras in town. So I'm going to see if anybody has actually seen them. Whoops. Trying to figure out if it is really just, you know, incorrect information that someone's put out there or if they're real. So I'm going to post this out here and we'll see if we get any responses back while we are on our page. Okay, so again, this is our timeline. There's a section if I click about it or if somebody comes to my page and clicks about on my page, they can see where I've worked, um, places I've lived, basic contact information, um, family and member uh, relationships, and details about you. Of course, you have to fill this in for them to be able to see it. There's also an area with my friends on it. Um, it says that I have 966 friends. Hmm, might be time to kind of go through those. Um, I don't know that I actually have 90, 966 close friends. Okay, 
um, on here. We also have photos, which is probably arguably the second most popular feature of Facebook. So you have an area called photos of you. So these are pictures that either you posted or someone tagged you in. Your photos are the ones that you take or that you upload. You can see our snow here recently. Um, you also have albums where you can create an album. Um, so let's see, it's like here's when I just did my son senior pictures that are in there. So those are all pictures related to the same thing. So it's kind of like a, literally a photo album of just him. Okay, so you can create albums at any point um, very easily and we will have a lesson on how to do that. Okay, so we will go back to the wall. Okay, I know I'm on my timeline right now. Um, I can either click on the home button at the top or I can just click on the Facebook logo which takes me back to my wall. Okay, so your status updates appear here. Um, notice the one that I put out just a minute ago about the speed cameras around Hagerstown also shows up on the wall. Okay, and as I scroll down I can see some new updates from when I was here just a second ago. Remember, this is real time, so as soon as somebody posts a status update, it pops into my wall. And my wall is only going to contain information from my friends. Okay, so that's a little bit about what Facebook is. On our next video, we'll talk about Facebook in the classroom. Does it belong there? I think it does, especially with 1.2 billion users. Do I need to make a separate account? personal preference right there. Okay, so I hope you will join us next time as we take another look at Facebook. Thanks for joining today.